ora, I'm Les Judd and I'm a ranger for the Department of Conservation working with the critically endangered Grand and Otago skinks. Part of my job involves working with private breeders and institutions to run a captive breeding program for these skinks. I'm going to meet Anne Richardson here at Peacock Springs in Christchurch to see how my little mates are enjoying their new home. So how are these guys getting on here, Anne? It's going really good. These two, they think, are two females. Um, be good to weigh and measure them so we can have a better idea what they're doing. They're not as close as they used to be to each other. They used to be quite sitting next to each other all the time. So um, it'll be interesting to see what they are. But they're going good. We just like, he's coming up to three now and really would like to see if you're able to sex him. Um, he's a bit bigger than the other one, so he could be a male, but we're not 100% sure yet. Oh, well, I'll have a look and see if I can tell. There he is. Blackie. Not too fat? No, he looks good. So what I'm looking for here in this event is the different shapes between males and females. In a female, typically it's flat when you pull the vent back, and in a male, a male has hemipenes, which is two penises, one on each side. When you pull the cloaca back, then you can sometimes see the, the ridge of the hemipene there. So. All those, this one's squeezing quite tight. Um, it looks to me like it could be a male. It could be a male. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah. Especially if the other one is a female. Yeah. So can I put this guy in the bag and get yeah. him away? Yes, thank you. And we'll just sway him on the scales. Great. He's actually put on 0.5 of a gram over the summer and he's looking good. Would you like to measure him? Sure. <laughs> Nose to vent first. He is 92. He was 85 last time. So he's growing quite well, isn't he? And if you're wondering what the measurements are that I'm talking about, the snout vent length is from the tip of the snout to the vent here. And the vent tail is the measurement from the vent down to the tip of the tail. And those are the two standard measurements that we use for measuring skinks. A tasty morsel for introduced predators, skinks in New Zealand live a fairly precarious existence. For Grand and Otago skinks, this breeding program provides us with an insurance population, which is a vital safety net in ensuring their future survival.